Hello everyone, my name is Tana. Welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be a casual weekend reading vlog with my best friends. So we originally planned to do a 24 hour readathon today, but none of us are really like feeling up to it at the present moment. So we just decided we're just gonna do like a casual reading day. And then I think I'm gonna have reading sprints with Christina tomorrow. So I'll just vlog for this weekend. So it's about 12.30 now on Saturday. I went to the gym this morning and I just got out of the shower and I'm in my comfy clothes and I'm ready to get some reading done. So the books that I want to try to get to today, I have three here. So the first two are manga. It's volumes two and three of Spy Family, which I have been really eager to get to. And I just think this is the perfect time since it was originally a 24 hour readathon. So manga are really quick to get through. So I'm going to try to read these two today. And then I would also love it if I could start and finish this book today. <laughs> I know that I said it's going to be casual, but honestly, I have nothing else to do today but sit and read. So that's what I plan to do. And I have the audiobook for this book. And that book is Seasonal Fears by Shauna McGuire. So this is the companion sequel to Middle Game, which was a five star book for me. And this was one of my most anticipated releases of this year and it came out in May and I just haven't gotten to it. I was originally going to reread Middle Game before getting into this, but I think that is just like making me put it off more. I don't know why, because I loved Middle Game, but I think I just wanna dive into this one and I'm going to try to finish it today. We shall see. I literally don't know what to expect with this. Like I thought that this was going to be a sequel to Middle Game and following the same characters, but it follows different characters. So I don't know what to expect at all, but I do love Shauna McGuire's writing. So I'm excited to get to this one and see how I like it. I'm sure that I'm going to love it. So we're going to try to get to this one today as well. I'm not sure. I think I want to start Seasonal Fears and then maybe when I need a break, I'll pick up volume two and then I'll read a little bit more of Seasonal Fears. And then if I need a break, I'll pick up volume three. But yeah, these are the ones I'm focusing on today. I'm gonna go get lunch. I really want some McDonald's. So I'm gonna go get McDonald's and hunker down on the couch. So yeah, I just wanted to pop in and film this little intro so you know what I plan on reading this weekend. So I'm gonna go get my lunch and get to reading. <music>
All right, it is much later now. It's about 6.30 in the evening and I've made it halfway through Seasonal Fears. So I'm really liking this. I was a little worried because it's following different characters and I really wanted to see what was gonna happen with Roger and Dodger from the first book. But I'm really liking this and it's almost one of those kind of books. Middle Game was this way too, where it's like so much, it, it takes so much brain power and so much is happening. It's so convoluted and it's so like, it's a thinker. And I almost feel too stupid for it, but I'm like, not. <laughs> like I, I understand what's going on, but at the same time, I'm like just rolling with it if I don't understand it. But like, it makes sense. It's just one of those where it's like, how did Sean and McGuire come up with this concept? Like, it just, it's impressive that she created this because like for me, I'm like struggling or like I have to like actively work to know what's happening and like to put all the pieces together. And there's just, it's just, it's insane that it's insane that somebody just like plucked this out of their brain. It, it just blows my mind. But yeah, I'm really liking it. I haven't read either of the volumes of Spy Family. I kind of just don't want to leave this world. <laughs> like, I don't want to go read a different story and then try to come back to this. I just want to stick with this while it's like my gears are still, you know, still turning. So I think I'm just going to go keep reading this for the night. But I think that I can finish this tonight and I think I can still at least finish one of the volumes of Spy Family. I don't know if I'll do two. If I stay up later, maybe I can read both of them. But since it's like a casual day of reading and not a 24 hour readathon, I don't know if I want to push myself to do that. But who knows? Maybe. But yeah, I am really enjoying this. So we'll see how the second half goes. But I'm going to get back to reading and I will probably check in whenever I do finish this or decide to pick up something else if I do. But I think I'm going to just try to finish this. <laughs> I finished. It's almost midnight though. So I'll talk more in the morning. <laughs> All right, good morning, everyone. So I finished super late last night, like a couple minutes before midnight, I finished Seasonal Fears. And I did really like this. I think that this concept that of this series, The Alchemist Journey or Alchemy Journeys or something like that, whatever the series is called, I think the concept is like super impressive, super fascinating, very convoluted. Like there's just so much going on. And sometimes I'm like, I don't understand what's happening but then like it, it does make sense at the same time I don't know it's strange it's just like it's so impressive <laughs> I know I said that before but like Shauna McGuire's brain is just like next level but I didn't like this one quite as much as I loved middle game so I'm ending up giving this a four star rating it was just it was really good but I don't know it just didn't give that like five star spark so I'm, I'm going with a four star, still really good, still definitely recommend it. Roger and Dodger from the first book make a cameo in this one. Like they are in it, like they have, I mean, they're not in it like a ton, but they are in it. And I was a little worried that I wasn't going to like um, the fact that we were following different people. Like I liked being with Roger and Dodger and I kind of wanted to stay with them. So I was a little nervous going into this one that I wasn't gonna like the new characters, but I really liked them, Mel and Harry. I really liked them and I liked their story and like how it all tied into the whole big picture. So I'll definitely be curious to see what the next book is going to be. I, I mean, I assume there's gonna be another book. It's not been announced or anything, but I just assume that this story is going to continue. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But I did feel that the ending, the ending was the main reason why I just like didn't fully give it five stars. Like I didn't love it. Like I loved Middle Game because the ending felt a bit rushed and it just, it, it felt a little bit lacking. The ending was so, but still highly recommended it. Still love it. I'm really glad that I finally read it. I've had this since I think April, honestly, because I won the arc of it in a Goodreads giveaway and this came out in May. So I'm pretty sure I I got it like at the end of April or something like that. So I've just had it this whole time and I'm glad that I finally decided to read it. It was really good. But I didn't get to either volume of Spy Family because I was just like focusing on seasonal fears and I didn't want to leave that world and that concept to go into a different world. So I didn't get to these two. So I'm going to read these today and I'm just going to live my best life and have the best time. <laughs>
much later in the night now and I just wanted to film a little wrap up for this kind of mini vlog. I know it's pretty short but it was only a weekend reading vlog and I didn't do a ton this weekend <laughs> so but I did finish volumes two and three of Spy Family and I really like these. These are very fun. I think I'm gonna give both volumes four stars. There were a couple times when I was like giggling and I just liked being with these characters again. It's just oh, it's just so cute. Anya would die for Anya. She is everything. But yeah, I really like these. I'm glad that I finally got to get to them because I've had them for a few weeks now and I've just been meaning to get to them. Yeah, I'm glad I finally got to them. So now I can continue on with the series. I need to get the other volumes now. So I think I'm gonna only buy like one or two at a time so I can kind of savor the series for a bit. But that is going to be it for this little mini reading vlog. So thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe down below. And the emoji for this vlog, let's leave one of the like fall leaves for seasonal fears since it has a leaf on the cover. And thank you again so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!